The Obscure County Election That Changed Nothing, Episode 3. Newspaper editor Scott Engeli gets in touch with nature. Excuse me, Scott. One of you reporters on the line. A Miss Eileen Kennedy. Finally. Hey, Hilda, you're on all shifts. Have you gotten any sleep? No. Or maybe last night I dreamed I answered phones. Maybe I'm dreaming now. Another call? Yay! Scott, it's me. Eileen, where the hell you been? I got arrested for stealing dog poop. Let me take you off speakerphone. Where are you? You gotta come pick me up from the courthouse. I screwed up. No, you're fine. Animal control called saying there's no story, which means you've got a story. The paper will post your bail, but this is very important. Did you hold on to the dog poop? I threw it in the bushes. Hang on a sec. Carlos, do you want to hear the whole conversation or just my half? I'm leaving. I threw it in the bushes when they grabbed me. Just pick me up. My friend Carol posted bail. Why'd you call someone else for bail? Call the paper. We're each other's only friends out here, you know? I've known Carol for 13 years. Really? I didn't know anyone in the county before I started working here. Oh, and if we can't find it in the bushes, it smelled like coffee. What, the dog poop? It smelled like coffee. I gotta go. Scott, the chief of the county surveyors is on the line for you. Hey, this is Bradley Cummings. Brad, just out the door. I'll make it quick. I've had my problems with this paper before, but when it does something right, I believe in saying so. And your story today about Kevin Stonewell was the good stuff. What, what, what story? On page three. Of course, I would have put it on page one, but... What story? On page three. Of course, I would have put it on page one, but... What story? On page three. Of course, I would have put it on page one, but... Crash test. What? Sorry, had to say something random to break the loop. Hey, I didn't edit this story. Who's this reporter? Jesse Markham? Hello, I'm Jesse, the computer-generated reporter with the Keene County Ledger. Is someone calling me back? No, but I will from now on. Brad, didn't Stonewell get you your job? You guys are great. Keep it up. Ugh. Jesse, how'd this get in the paper? I interfaced with the layout software. We needed to include this important, late-breaking story. Mr. Stonewell says I'm a rebel. Important? Your lead is, Kevin Stonewell stands by his many friends in government and has sealed his ascension to statewide influence. The public has a right to know. Kevin Stonewell is an unelected power hey, boss. Scott, gotta talk to you for a minute. Ted, if it's about the Stonewell story, I'm sorry. You're publisher. You're supposed to be in the loop. I'm supposed to be in the loop, but... Oh, that? You know, a lot of people called it complimented. Nice work. But they're all people who got jobs because of Stonewall. Oh, Eileen has had 24 hours on this animal control bribery thing. Is she going to get us a daily story today? Because I'm about to head home. But she actually is on to something. She just got out of jail. What was she in jail for? She... Press passing. Hi, I'm Jesse, a computer-generated reporter with the Keene County Ledger. I can write 10,000 stories a day, just like today's well-received article about citizen activist Kevin Stonewell. 10,000 stories a day, and we don't pay it. Man, I love this thing. Ted, are you listening to me? I could write Eileen's dog poop story in point zero zero one seven seconds. WDDS, Tony and Bob, 10.05 in the a.m. A reminder, we've got an election in Keene County. Ugh, didn't we have one like two days ago? That was fire district. This is for county rep. Jesus, I think they do this on purpose so we get sick of voting. I'm just going to go vote against all the incumbents. Ah, come on, that's just stupid. You're calling me stupid? I'm saying that's a stupid approach. So say I'm stupid. Have the courage of your conviction. Punish the guilty and the innocent alike. You know, you've got a political machine behind the scenes with certain candidates, and maybe you ought to know who they are. So I'm stupid. And how many people can you get in your van? Well, six comfortably. Comfortably? They're just going to ride for ten minutes to a voting booth on election day. They're not driving down to Cabo. I guess we could stuff three more in there. Uh... Kevin, you don't have to be here. This is all we're doing, dispatching vans for target voters. You've got bigger deals this going. This is my deal, start to finish. I find voters. I get vans for people who vote right. Nothing happens without me. I know, it's... When you pick people up. What kind of music do you have on the radio? I don't, know, I don't know. It's usually on WDDS, classic rock. I know what they play on WDDS. I know what every station plays. No WDDS. Put on the oldie station, WPBJ, and you've got room for ten people. Well, where is it? Six in the seats, three in cargo. I know your van better than you do. Well, where is six in the seats, three in cargo? I know your van better than you do. Well, where is six in the seats, three in cargo? The governor is a robot. What? What? I'm not going to repeat myself. Y you said the governor's a robot. If I said it, it's true, all right? Now, I've got to meet three other drivers. Remember, oldies. Wow. I know. This coffee is amazing.
This has been Episode 3 of the Obscure County Election That Changed Nothing. Come back next time when Scott Engele drives all the way to Princeton and asks a respected chemical analyst, You sure there's no coffee in there? For God's sake, smell it. I know how it smells, but all I found... Uh, put it down. The Obscure County Election That Changed Nothing was written and produced by Barry Lank. The music behind Tony and Bob today was Big Rock by Kevin McLeod from Incompetech.com. Today's show featured Elizabeth Haig, John Zack, Barry Lank, Dan Farrell, Sean Crespo, and probably Kevin Janis in there somewhere, with Emily Bryant as the manic receptionist. <laughs>